We have only two minutes for those. There might have been a Muslim, one who is consciously submitted to the Creator. Now he has a non-Muslim sitting next to him. And you know what? Now what you're saying is log logical, rational, it makes sense. And now all that person has to do, what's already naturally in him, help give that encouragement for the person that's read about Islam. He knows is the truth. But you know what? The devil comes up and says, you know what? You're going to forsake the religion of your forefathers and all the other doubts that start creeping in. How could we encourage them to do the right thing? And what are the benefits of doing the right thing, submitting to God? Well, the benefits are the eternal life that we are all seeking. Mm -hmm. Eternal life in a beautiful and a good and a pure sense. One in a state where we are at peace with God, God pleased with us and us with Him. I mean, what better state can we be in? That is paradise. So that reward and that goal that we should all have can only be achieved through submitting ourselves to the will of God, known so, as Islam. Nice. That is the bottom line. And without it, no matter what we accumulate of this world, it will be ultimately of no benefit. It won't last, and we can't take it with us. None of it. It all stays behind. 